business model, it, the, the main one today is really the main one that most security companies follow, which is uh, the customer buys the appliance and then buys a subscription to the, supply, uh, to the appliance. And this subscription is one year, two years, three years, uh, and in there is your tech support, your, your maintenance, uh, any subscription services you need. In our case, the threat intelligence is in there. So the main model is buy the product and then buy the subscription that sustains the product and that those are annually renewed or two or three year renewals. That's what most security companies offer. What we also offer is you can buy the whole thing as a subscription, just roll it all together. You don't buy anything, you don't take ownership of anything. A product is brought on premise and it's operationalized and all the other things that you normally get in the subscription is also in there. So it makes it very simple for them to just say yes, right? And, and make it simple to, to acquire, simple to fit into their budgets. You know, and most customers are starting to think that way anyway, right? I mean, they are moving things to the cloud, which is based on a subscription basis usually. So, uh, you know, it makes it very comfortable for them and the trends that they're experiencing in their purchasing habits. As we introduce the truly virtualized product, so that the appliance itself isn't required, then that opens the door to the virtualized world, which includes infrastructures that are on-prem but virtualized for economic reasons, and as, as well as folks that are, have moved or are moving their infrastructure into the cloud. So the value statement of the polywall doesn't change. It still ingests all the threat intelligence, uses the threat intelligence to block known threats from ever hitting the network, uh, and do it in a, in a highly granular way granular way so it can be managed. And now whether it's hardware that they purchased, hardware that they've subscribed to, or they put it in the cloud, it's all the same value statement. So I think you'll see most of the security vendors are kind of going that way anyway. We're just going there very quickly because that's a trend we think is uh, irreversible. It's a good trend. It works in the advantage of the, of the customers. And so we just want to be ahead of that. Every opportunity has its own unique uh, elements to it, right? And, and so I've had the uh, advantage in my life of seeing small and medium large companies and growing. So I really know what I enjoy and I know what to look for if, uh, if I'm going to join a new company. What I saw in Bendora is really a lot of extremely beneficial timing, right? If you look at the technology, the problems it solves, the market is ready for it. Market timing is so critical in all these decisions. In this case, the market understands threat intelligence, they just don't know how to use it, right? Because they couldn't use it. So the, the, the timing was there. Uh, the company itself was at a, a, a state that I myself really enjoy. I mean, a, a, you know, a 20, 30, 40, 50 person company is just a really exciting time of a company's life. And that's, that is the, point where we are now is heading up that, that ramp up right now. So, so the timing of the product, the market readiness, the size of the company, to me it just put, came together to be a very attractive package. And I just loved listening to Suzanne and how she got to where it is. She agreed to stay because we, we just need that hard driving you know, pioneer out there that really understands what how to, how to make inroads and how to get this message out. So when she agreed to, to stay as an executive, I agreed to come on board and, and lead the uh, near future here. I mentioned that timing was coming together to make this a, a, a unique and, and really excellent opportunity for me. One of those elements is, is this really technology that's sustainable? Is the advantage sustainable? Is, this, is the technology that makes it one of a kind today still gonna be technology that makes it unique, uh, leads to unique capabilities in the out years. So to understand that, I looked in, in detail, and this is before I uh, came on board, I looked in detail at the intellectual property that Bendura had. I looked at the inter intellectual property that some of the competitors had and determined that we in fact did have uh, patents that were gonna protect our future. So it became more than just being very smart technologically, it's guarded technology. So it does say that even as other companies realize you know, the value of having 
and being in the, t the uh, threat intelligence gateway business, we still have advantages that they can't overcome. And so all those, those patents that uh, Suzanne and, and her co-founder have, have uh, acquired on behalf of Bandura are, are a sustaining element of why this is going to be a long-term uh, business for, for threat intelligence gateways. Mm -hmm.